Hi, my name is PJ and I might waste your time. Today, I'm going to be going over some workflow tips that I wish I knew when I started. When we open DaVinci Resolve, we're going to run it as administrator. This is going to allow us to do some certain things that we wouldn't be able to do if we weren't an administrator. The first thing we're going to fix is our adjustment clips. If you don't know what an adjustment clip is, an adjustment clip allows you to transform whatever media is underneath the clip. So if you're applying a shake, a transition, or anything that transforms the media clip underneath it, that's when you're going to use an adjustment clip. In order to use an adjustment clip, you're going to go to the effects library. Under the toolbox tab, you're going to go to effects and drag in the adjustment clip. Now, once you go into fusion with the adjustment clip, you're going to see that your starting frame rate is not at zero. And that's not good. First thing we're going to do is fix the adjustment clip. Now, shout out to Atomic Pulse for helping me find a more efficient way to fix it. Basically, what we're going to do is once we drag our adjustment clip onto the timeline, then we're going to put it back into our media pool. Putting this in our media pool allows us to grab it whenever we want. Once we have it in our media pool, you can delete the adjustment clip that is there. Because once you drag this adjustment clip back onto the timeline, then you will see the frame rate is correct. The reason that you want this correct is that if you're ever combining any previous overlays, transitions, or, or anything else that you want to add to the clip, everything will be in the same frame rate and at the same time. For example, I made this circle animation in a fusion composition. Fusion compositions always start from zero to wherever you drag it. So say I want to put the animation on the adjustment clip that is not at zero frames, per I will not be able to view it inside the adjustment clip. But if I do transfer the animation to the adjustment clip that starts at zero, then it will line up with the same frame rate. Now say we want to save some adjustment clips and fusion clips into either its own media pool. We can do that with power bins. Power Bins is basically a media pool that you have across all of your projects. So where at whichever project you open up, you can access anything from the Power Bin media pool. In order to view Power Bins, we're going to go to View at the top, go down to Show Power Bins, and click that on. Then you will see in your Media Pool tab, you're going to have another tab that says Power Bins. This is where you can add bins and folders, where you can sort all clips you saved in the past, and you can use it on any other project in the future. The next thing I'm going to teach you is how to have a Power Bin in Fusion, where you can save any Fusion graphs that you want. This is why it was important that we ran DaVinci as administrator before, because it is important to add pre-made fusion graphs in the future. Say I made this circle animation and I want to save it in the effects library. If you don't know where the effects library is in fusion, you go to the top left, hit effects library, and there's a bunch of files of already pre-made presets that DaVinci has given to us. For example, there are many generators, particle generators, and my favorite, the color wheel. In the effects library, we are also able to save our own fusion graphs. In order to do that, you're going to highlight whatever fusion tree that you have. You're going to right click, hit save as, and then a file is going to pop up. This is where you can save all your node graphs. I suggest that you make extra folders so you can distinguish which ones that you've made and which ones DaVinci owns. Once you save the graph, you're going to have to restart the program and it'll pop up in the effects library. We can pull it out from our effects library anytime we need in an adjustment clip or a fusion clip. Say you want to have multiple timelines in your project. Go to this button and click this button and you will have a timeline tab bar at the top of your timelines. Here you're able to add another timeline and have any other project going at the same time. What's cool about having this timeline, if you do compound clip your clips together, which I do suggest because for me, it helps my timeline run smoother, you can right click the compound clip and hit open a new timeline and you'll have that timeline in another tab above your timeline. What's cool about this is that you could edit anything in the compound clip without decomposing your compound clip, saving you a little bit of time. The next tip I'm going to show you is in the render page. In the render page, you're able to render out certain parts of your timeline that you want to be rendered. If you go to the start of your clip, right click, hit mark in, and go to the second point where you want the clip to end, and right click and hit mark out, it can tell you you can export this part of the timeline. For the last tip, if you keep having an error pop up once you're rendering a clip, if you go to preferences, user, go to this setting and go all the way to the bottom, you can uncheck this box, and it can allow you to export despite having an error. The only risk you might have with this is that your render has glitches in it, but you have to check that. If this video was helpful or you have tips of your own, please leave it in the comments. And if you are a DaVinci Resolve AMV editor, there's a Discord server that is dedicated to helping everybody out so everybody can improve. And with that, please subscribe and have a good day. What's your zodiac sign? Do you think I am fine? Am I wasting your time? Wait. Because you looking divine, do you want to be mine? No, I see it is fine. Okay. She got me slipping and sliding. She hold rush, she riding. She closing her eyelids. She feel Just so right. you know, I'm a Leo. I'm worth like two people. That makes us a trio. Ideal, alright?